Hello, my beautiful buds. Welcome back to my channel, Spress with Joy. My name is Joy, and if you like to talk about plants, you're in the right place. All right, there's a lot going on in my collection, it feels like, even though it's winter time. So I feel like my plants should be chilled out right now, but they're not. So let's just, I wanted to go around and just show you a couple of little highlights, a couple of updates. I was going to start down here, but my baby is napping. I don't just really want to wake him up, so I don't know. I might go upstairs and then come back downstairs and go back upstairs. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But also, my voice is super raspy, so don't mind that because I am like, I, I'm getting over a cough. Okay. Okay. All right. Here is all this stuff <laughs> to go over. Um, this is the main corner where I have plants in my bedroom with that grow light up there. The rest of my room is a little bit of a mess. Oh, hello, hello. I wish that my bedroom were like perfectly beautiful and aesthetic all the time, but it just isn't. It's always tricky to show things to you in this room because the grow light kind of like screws with the lighting, but I don't know. Maybe I'll like bring plants to you to show. First and foremost, I wanted to give you an update on my philodendron white princess that I just got recently. So this it just unfurled this newest leaf it's not even fully hardened off yet and look at how beautiful 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 this is the first leaf that has fully emerged in my care and there is already another leaf let's see there's already another leaf kind of trying to pop out right here although it looks like it might get stuck so let's hope that's not the case but wow this plant's so pretty there is definitely i mean there's some browning and stuff like that but it was shipped to me from canada so i mean expectations right guys at least this newest leaf is honestly quite flawless and like ah so pretty as a side note i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys a number of these plants are gonna need to be watered today so some of them are a little bit thirsty but this isn't one of them i just watered this one yesterday um but this is my philodendron painted lady that i like potted up from propagations maybe a couple months ago and she seems like she's doing well like do you see those roots i don't know if you can really see them or make them out but there's some roots that have been coming in and I just love these clear pots because, I mean, yeah, there's some algae growth, which is kind of gross, but like I can see the roots, which is super rewarding and fun. Uh, but yeah, obviously there's a new leaf coming in right here. And this other new leaf has so much variegation on it. It's honestly so pretty. And yeah, I mean, this plant definitely looks a little bit awkward and gangly. <laughs> Uh, the growth pattern on philodendron air Besson's varieties are questionable and maybe I just need to get her on a pole or something But I don't even know like what to do with this plant right now to be honest. She's just gonna sprawl everywhere probably for a while Okay, and of course here is my Syngonium erythrophyllum just doing the absolute most right now. I know the lighting probably isn't the best like it's kind of backlit but you know, we're working with what we've got today. Okay, but like, look, this plant is constantly growing. I'm putting out new leaves, There's another new leaf coming out, and this one like hasn't even hardened off yet. Um, so this is shaping out to be like a nice little vine that's going down. These are the little propagations that I potted in with it. And they're also doing really well and have some new leaves happening. So honestly, yeah, I cannot complain. This plant has been so easy for me. I also wanted to show you this guy right here. This is an air plant. I don't know if I've shown this to you guys yet. Um, I believe it's just a Talensia bulbosa is my best guess, but there wasn't actually like a botanical name listed other than I was like, oh, hey, this is an air plant um, at my local garden center. And I have not decided how I want to display this plant yet, but look, she's flowering and it's just such a cool looking plant. I am in love with it. Yeah, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, I got it like last month, I think. It's one of the newer plants to my collection and it's just so cool. I, I, I feel like I need to appreciate air plants more. They kind of intimidated me for a long time. I don't know if you can see that coloring on there too. And just like the texture, it's so beautiful. But yeah, they intimidated me for a while because you know their care is a little bit more unique. I, I soak it like once a week and then let it fully dry out. So I think we're doing okay so far. I mean, nothing bad has happened it seems. <laughs> so 
yeah, I'm just hoping that it continues, all continues to be well. But yeah, I grew up in South Florida where there were like, a, there was a lot of Spanish moss, a lot of air plants kind of around in the trees and stuff like that. I don't know if you can hear my daughter. I just, we just put her in a toddler bed. And so, you know, she's like, in her room down for a nap, but in reality, she's just kind of like playing with her toys until she passes out. So right now she's just like, if I were to like look at the monitor right now, she would just be playing with her toys, talking for them, just like, ah, ah. I haven't fully decided how I want to display it. Right now I just kind of have it at the top of my little plant shelf here, but that's not like a permanent home. So I don't know if I want to like attach it to a piece of driftwood or if I, or mount it on something else, or if I want to just, I don't know. There's so many options when it comes to displaying air plants and it's almost like I get decision fatigue with that, but it's fine. Okay, I feel like I always need to show off my Epipremnum panatum albo variegata um, because this guy is constantly growing. I do think that he's gonna need a water pretty soon here. Look at how beautiful this plant is. Look at this leaf and this newest leaf that's coming in looks like it might have some nice variegation to it. Um, so yeah, this is the most recent leaf before this one. And then this is like a separate offshoot that's a little bit less variegated and it's not actually attached, but there's a small little leaf coming in there too. So yeah, this guy's constantly growing. He seems super happy. Oh, and some of you are asking about my Syndapsis lucens <laughs> uh, because I repotted it and it seemed really, really sad when I repotted it. Like it didn't seem like it was gonna survive, but yeah, she perked back up. Um, she's growing a little bit awkward. <laughs> So maybe I should have put her on a pole, but it's okay. Um, she hasn't really grown like any new leaves since I repotted her, but she's still, oh, fungus gnat, ugh. She's still figuring herself out, still adjusting, but like, yeah, she's survived. And it's, oh my gosh, this fungus gnat is driving me crazy. That's another thing. Uh, I feel like my fungus gnats have kind of come back. I got rid of them for a while, but now they're back and I'm not happy about it. Okay, I think that my son downstairs is in a deep enough sleep that I could go down there and talk and he would be fine. Um, meanwhile, my daughter can probably hear me talking when she's trying to be napping and she's probably like, what the heck is going on? So I'm gonna go downstairs now and then I'll probably come back upstairs. We're gonna keep on moving, keep on moving. Here in this little east facing window, I've got a couple plants, so... Um, this right here is my variegated heartleaf philodendron and there are like this plant gets thirsty so fast if you like it's kind of hard to show you so maybe i'll go like this even though it's kind of backlit um let's see there are some like new leaves that are popping up so this is a relatively new leaf right here but it's like super tiny where is it I saw a new leaf like underneath these other leaves somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I found it after some looking. Um, so it's like right under here. You see that? I know the lighting probably isn't the best, but look at that. Oh, I'm so excited for this plant to be growing. I have two philodendron brazils. This is like my smaller one, like my baby one, but he's really been taking off a lot this winter because when I first put him in this pot, I don't know, over the summertime or something, he was only like right here, you know? Like he wasn't really going beyond the edge of the pot, but now he's just vining down. So beautiful and the variegation here is so pretty too. I know philodendron Brazil is more common, but I feel like it's super underrated. Okay, and over here real quick, I've got lots of thirsty plants. Oh my gosh, I definitely need to water this like propagation pot of philodendron pink princess that I have. But there have been a lot of new leaves recently. Like this is a new leaf. The variation on it isn't amazing, but it's still pretty cute. And there is a new leaf coming in right here, but I think the roots kind of suck on this one because it's always really floppy. And then here's another new leaf. Thankfully the um, leaves have been unfurling okay, which is good. This also will need to be watered like probably today or tomorrow. But my Calathea Makoyana has like completely bounced back. I think I featured it last time I was talking about my updates, but like all those leaves came in that I was talking about before. And now there are even more new leaves. Like, do you see that? There's that. And over here, 
There's some more. So she's like really, really filling out. I love seeing these little taquitos popping up, you know? And she's looking so happy and beautiful. Honestly, I'm so impressed with her now. And I think she was about to like die on me. Oh my gosh. My children Squamish Aram, I think needs to be watered as well, but this is the newest leaf that is now finally kind of starting to emerge. Ooh, oh wait, can we, is it ready? Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know, it's not quite ready for me to like peel it off completely, but like, oh my gosh, that's so nice. I'm just gonna, maybe it's not the best idea to do right now, but like, yeah, it's not totally ready to come all the way off yet, but like, mm. this leaf is definitely a bit smaller than some of the other more recent leaves. Cause like, look at that. But I just kind of put it back on support. I think part of the reason that happened is that it wasn't getting a whole lot of support cause I hadn't, you know, kind of attached it to the stake yet. But now that I have, I think it'll start sizing up more again. We'll see. Oh my gosh, and you guys, Look at how beautifully this plant is filling out. I'm astounded. I mean, I have so many Begonia Maculata Whitei plants like in my collection right now because I've propagated it so much. But this is like gonna be my new main plant, or at least I potted it up hoping for that to be the case. And it is not disappointing so far. <sighs> this plant is so pretty. I've also given away so many propagations of this and I still have the mother plant but I think I'm gonna chop it up again this summer and maybe kind of like give away the rest of the cuttings, especially now that this plant is getting more established. And there's new growth happening, of course. Um, most, a lot of these leaves that you see here are new. So, oh, this plant just grows so beautifully. Maybe I'll do a care video for this plant because I feel pretty confident about it because I've like propagated it so many times. So let me know if you guys want that. Okay, and this is actually quite exciting. So here's my Anthurium clarinervia. And look at that. Do you see? There's a new little leaf spike popping up. Ah, I'm so excited for that leaf to come in. I love the process of watching Anthurium leaves come in. It's honestly the best thing ever. So it, they're one of my favorite leaves to watch uh, emerge. Or I don't know if emerging is the right word term because like the way that they come in is so different from like a philodendron. I'm so excited and just okay also take a moment to appreciate. So fun. Okay and this plant I mean I love my lemon lime maranta but I definitely think it might be almost time to chop and prop this boy. I mean he's still growing and is like relatively happy I think but like He's lost a lot of leaves like right on this stem, so he's kind of looking bare. I noticed that, you know, that tends to happen with Maranta, especially if you miss a watering or two. Like, you know, they don't really forgive that. So yeah, stunning plant, stunning foliage, but I definitely, I think I do want to chop and prop and kind of start over with this plant. All right, and this is another little project of mine that's a begonia. It's the the begonia aerial and I just wanted to show that he's growing hang on oh there these are this is a new leaf that's coming in and this is doing well I'm gonna see if this little leaf down here will like successfully propagate directly into the soil I don't know we'll see but it's a cute plant but it's definitely kind of been through it with me like I've made some mistakes with the plant too so you know, it looks a little funny, but it's got a unique look to it and it's a begonia. I mean, it's beautiful. We'll see if he continues to be happy, but I just wanted to show he's growing, um, which is, I, that's super rewarding for me, honestly. Like, look at how pretty that is. It's such a striking color. Okay, and over here in this corner by the TV, I used to have like a giant Marble Queen Pothos here. Like it was like 
maybe a 10 inch pot that was super, super full. But I kind of made an impulsive decision to split it up into like four different pots. And some of those pots I'm, you know, planning to give away. One of them completely died from root rot because I think the roots just went into absolute shock and all died off, which I guess is to be expected, but it was still a little bit sad. Uh, but thankfully, this is the one that I decided to keep for myself and it's doing pretty well. I do like the look of it a lot. I just felt like the other pot, so it needed to be repotted, like it needed to go up a size, but I didn't want a bigger plant here because I felt like it already felt kind of imbalanced in this corner. It feels a lot nicer and yeah, maybe it's not quite as full, but I still get the beautiful foliage and it's still kind of cascading down. And this way I can focus more on length rather than like having a ton of bulk on top because it was just taking up this whole area. And it was just a little, it was a little too much, you know? This is my Syndapsis Pictus Silvery Anne. Here, let me set the tripod down so you can see better. Oh, here, let me show you. It's honestly getting so full and beautiful right now. Um, it's put out several runners and stuff like that, but I either chop them back or just kind of wrap them back into the pot. And that has seemed to work pretty well at this point. I mean, it's my dream to have like a super duper variegated Sandapsis Silvery Anne. Um, that's not really happening right now, unfortunately, because I don't know, when you look at it, like the variegation is pretty, but I mean, ugh, I would love all the leaves to be like a lot more silver, but it's okay. I've seen some that are just so stunning online, um, but I'm just trying to be content with what I've got and like appreciate that she is looking really full and has a lot of new growth happening. Like, oh my gosh, so many new leaves popping up and I just think it's so pretty like being so full like this. So in general, I'm pretty happy with it. I do have a high hopes for this plant, but I, I don't, I doubt that they'll come to fruition, but We'll see what happens. Okay, and then this corner, I don't know. I mean, these plants continue to grow a lot, but in particular, this is my Subu Blue Pothos. And I'm always thinking maybe I should move it to higher light. <laughs> Cause this corner, I mean, it gets a decent amount of light, but only really on sunny days. If it's not a sunny day, like forget about it. And it, it is growing. Like, see, like, I think that's a relatively new leaf right there. But like, I don't know, it's it's really pretty, it's growing, but I do want it to like be trailing more. I want it to be happier. So I, I think for that to happen, I might need to move it to higher light, but I like it where it's at, because it's like down here. I don't know. I feel like I never can decide really with that one. Okay, so pretty much all of these Hoya have like sulfur fungicide treatment, so don't mind that, of course. But I wanted to show you, so here's my Hoya obovata. And, oh, <laughs> he's spinning around. I might need to water you soon as well. But like, okay, this is the newest leaf. Like it just, literally just put out this leaf over the course of the last week or so. It does look a little bit damaged and weird. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it like got bothered while it was growing or if it, that's like a flat mite situation. Cause I, I mean, I am treating it first flat mites, but like, that's just, it looks a little bit weird, but even beyond the sulfur fungicide <laughs> splash, I mean, this new leaf doesn't have any of the sulfur on it actually. I don't think, at least not very much. Um, so it is like decently splashy. It's still like kind of tender, which is nice. I like that. If you know for certain, like what the heck was happening with that leaf, let me know. But overall though, I'm honestly just happy that this plant grew because it's been a little bit, a little bit um, stubborn with the growth lately. And here's my Hoya Velosa, which I think since the last time I did an update, she's come out with another beautiful leaf. Um, this leaf kind of stayed dumpy and small, <laughs> but this leaf came out really, really beautifully. And now there's another pair of leaves that is just about to start taking off, hopefully. I've been trying really hard to keep up with the watering. Uh, I've noticed that my Hoya and the south facing window, they get really thirsty really fast, actually, like a lot more than you typically expect from Hoya. But I think in the winter time, since the sun is so low, they just dry out a lot faster. And then here's my Hoya Fichii. And oh my gosh, okay, 
So I know it doesn't look like much, but like this is a brand new leaf right here that's still kind of coming in. I think this was another new leaf actually. So he has started growing for me, which is awesome because I think the last time I showed him off, I was like, boohoo, he hasn't been growing yet. But he has started throwing off some like new growth points, which is super exciting. I'm really, really excited to see where this plant goes. And yeah, I'm absolutely convinced I probably need to move my <laughs> Crimson Princess out of the south facing window because like it looks so chlorotic to me like it looks so bleached out i don't know if this is normal or not i feel like the leaves are supposed to be darker than this like they're so like bright green and like pale but i mean she's definitely growing <laughs> she just put out these new leaves right here and here like oh my gosh do you see how beautiful and pink that is that's so pretty and there's this whole runner that she shot off with all these new leaves ready to come out so i'm probably gonna water her because she's been getting super thirsty lately probably with all of her growth that's going on but i'm so happy that she's growing and speaking of like new growth points and stuff like that um <laughs> look my hoya carnosa compacta is growing do you see these new leaves coming in i think i also need to maybe water this guy because like some of the leaves are dying off like you know like it's like one leaf survives and the other doesn't and i think that that is a watering issue probably but like i said these guys have been drying out so fast but yeah i'm just honestly so grateful that he's starting to grow more and i just just please keep going <laughs> keep going okay you guys i don't know if this is my imagination this is my hoya latifolia albo marginata um formerly known as the macrophylla i think but look do you okay do you see do you see this it i don't know if it's doing something or not but it looks kind of like reddish to me See if I can get it to focus. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to get this to focus because it's honestly so tiny. Okay, I don't know if you can really make that out, but like it's looking, but it's looking like it might be starting a new growth point right there. Like the leaves look like they might be starting and it could be my imagination, but I'm so excited about that. All right, it sounds like I have to tend to my child, so give me a second. Okay, I need to clean this room really badly, but whatever. Um, okay, there are just a couple things I wanted to show you in here. Probably the most exciting is my Alocasia Black Velvet. She does look a little bit thirsty, but I panic watered her this morning because I realized she was thirsty and I had like almost missed a watering, but it's okay. She still hasn't fully taken up the water, hence why she's kind of curly, but it's okay. But okay, I said okay so many times. This is what I'm so excited about. Do you see, do you see? This is a new leaf right here. And there's also another new leaf that's going to come up here too. And I'm, I feel so honored because I feel like alocasia typically go pretty dormant in the winter time, but she is growing for me. <laughs> And I'm so happy. And then the only other thing that's kind of of note is my philodendron mame right here has a new leaf. Can you see that? It doesn't look like it's gonna be super large. I don't think it's really been rooting into the soil like it's supposed to as it crawls. So maybe I need to adjust something, but I don't know. I'm honestly just so happy that it's growing again. Like, I feel like I like let out a just breath of relief every time this plant puts out a new leaf because this is a plant that I tend to get really worried about, especially because it's kind of pest prone. I feel like it's gotten spider mites a couple of times and it has a lot of EFNs and that sort of thing. And it was an expensive plant, <laughs> but it's so pretty and so rewarding. Um, and I feel like it's it's making its way, you know? And let's see if there's anything else. As I mentioned before, this is all kind of a mess, <laughs> but, um, oh, this right here is, you can't really see it here, so maybe I'll show it in another video another time, but this is a cuddly cactus that I just got from Walmart and it has no spines, but I thought it was kind of cute. Um, oh, and my Haworthia is blooming. Look at that. And it's also a sunny day, which is, wonderful but look that's so fun look at you going off i mean it's the blooms aren't like 
beautiful, but it's always kind of exciting when something blooms, right? Like it makes you feel like you're doing something correctly. Um, and then here, my philodendron summer glory will have a new leaf soon. So that's fun. Well, my toddler is still not napping. She is rebelling. I think that's gonna be it for today. I, I need to go see if I can persuade her to take her nap. <laughs> But it was fun to kind of look around, appreciate some plants, realize a few plants that need to be watered. So I'll also do that real fast. But yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.